In WooCommerce by default you have only the sale batch like this one here. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to instead this sale batch show the percentage of the discount. Take a look at the card shown right now in the video. But what I'm going to show you today is that how you can show the new batch on the products which are for example 15 or 30 days old. I can show you how to make it appear as a circle or as a ribbon like this one here. If you think that could help you then keep watching. So what to do first? You have two choices. I'm going to provide you a code snippet. Your first choice is to add it to a child teams function PHP file. The other one is to add it to the code snippets plugin. Therefore I'm going to use the other one because it's a future-proof method for you. What I mean by that is that if you deactivate your team and the code snippet is inside the functions PHP file, then the bash will not be shown. But if you use the code snippets, then it's team-proof. It will be shown later anyway. Okay, so search for code snippets. Now install it and activate it. And after that, you will see the snippets add new. Click on this. And now paste here the code which can be found on the description of this video. Give the snippet the title, for example, new batch. Here you can enter the number of days you want this batch to be shown. For example, 30 days after the publication of the product. And that is all you have to do. The other one is for styling this batch, for example, take a look. We have two classes, on sale and new batch here. And here you can tell what to show on this batch. For example, new or fresh or whatever you want to show. Next, mark this selection here, only run on site front and save changes and activate. And let's take a look. Let's go to the shop. And here it is. The styling is taken from the WooCommerce itself. It uses the on sale styling. But the problem now is if we, if we sort it from low to high, then you'll see that the sale batch is here, but the new batch is missing because it's behind this sale batch. Therefore, let's go and customize it a little bit. Go to the appearance and customize. Next, take a look at the CSS code, which can be found also in the description of this video. Go to the additional settings and here are two styles I added for you. Let's go to the shop again so we could see what's happening. So we have a new batch here. This code here makes the new batch appear as a circle. If you want to change the background of this batch then this one is for you to change and also the color for example white. Another style is a ribbon style. This code is a bit longer. If you want to change the background, then change this one, this one, these two, and also these two, and this one here. And the color of the text can be changed here. If you think that you're done, then just publish. Go to the products page, sort by latest, and there you go. Here is our new badge. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then share it with others. Press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you do that, then you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.